the winter championship is a qualifier match for the winner side of top eight and here we go kinda and alex going up against wes and legit for game number one on mammoth fortress yeah, so this is going to be telling how this all opens up. Because while this is a best three out of five set, so you got to win three games to move on to the next stage of the tournament, you know, you want that early momentum. You've got to kind of send the message and figure out those early strategies to set yourself up as best as possible. Yeah, and we see uh, Alex and kind of opening up with a double Bodvar here for game number one against the Roland of Legit and Wesley on Bryn. Bryn definitely a staple character for doubles in the region in general. Nice falling cider, and they're getting the team comes oh. up. No, the neutral light needed to be gravity canceled, I think, to work, but he does, he does get a slightly charged neutral sig onto Alex. No stocks taken just yet as both teams are trying to get control of that center stage. There trying to take the first stocks, and blue team might get both of them here. Nice. Ground Please. pound D-Light Cider to finish it off, and wow, really great finisher uh, getting the D-Light Cider on Mammoth Fortress. This isn't small Mammoth Fortress, so getting that knockout... Uh, oh no, oh. The Friendly Fire oh. has the save though, but oh. kinda oh. Ackerman just oh. there to delete it immediately. That was clutch. That, that was incredibly clutch, and what a precise timing too, because he was going for their sword recovery for the save, that wouldn't have knocked out Wes, but... Uh, the Hammer Cider was definitely enough as he got that alley-oop, and now they're turning their attention over to Wes as Legit was taken down and putting a ton of damage on him despite the red team having the lead at the beginning. They have a slight lead now as they were able to focus all of their attention onto Wes while Legit was respawning. Yeah, and now here's the main thing to watch. You see Wes so much more damaged than everyone else on the field, so it's going to be key on that Bryn's high movement speed to stay out of the way of danger. Ooh, nice job using the chase dodge after the neutral light on Akina to reposition, oh. not get punished by LX. Both both of the red team being set off the stage, and Wes is just going to go for the double axe grab pound here. He gets the nair. Down air punishes the dive kick from Kaina as he tried to react out of hit stun. Really great positioning from Wes to be able to get that double knockout, bring the team into a lead in game one after yep. what was looking like a like a little, a little comeback for the red team. Oh! oh. I mean... Don't say anything too soon, just because they are so deep in the red. And this match has been neck and neck, back and forth. As soon as somebody takes a lead, the opponents aren't that far behind. Yeah, I'd like to see what the red team does mm. in the situation. Okay, I mean, this is a great start with Alex going on to Wes. Uh, in, in certain double situations, when you're against a team where one opponent is deep damage, but has two stocks, and their teammate is at one stock, I feel like it's uh, optimal to go for the opponent with the one stock, let the other person that's highly damaged just live, hit them away, let them recover, focus on the other person. And yep. now we're seeing the red oh. team just in an all-out open brawl, avoids the weapon throw, but Alex gets oh. hit in a neutral light slide off. Oh, Wes goes for the ground pop finishes. Is this going to be it for, uh, for Wes? All right, oh, that was just man. a crazy scramble on the side, and now Kaina Ackerman is left alone trying to 2v1 against Wes and Legit, but man, chances are dwindling. Yes, they are, but it's actually so crazy. Close as that recovery hits and he goes oh all the way up. Gosh. Trying to get in there at the top, he down here's Legit. Down by recovery in the middle of the stage, not, not enough. enough. Roland really tanky. Oh, Kaina, you're so close to being able to take this game one. It would be quite the oh, comeback. No! Oh. And just like that, it overextended just a hair, and that's all it takes. When the blue teammate is just waiting there for the cleanup, man, oh man. That was an incredibly close game one. I'm very excited for this set. Hopefully it goes past three games. I imagine that all of the games that are played regardless are going to be really close because both teams were just adapting constantly to each other. There were some offstage scrambles that went either way. A lot of great punishes yeah. coming out in that 1v2, but then the amazing dodge punish where uh, kind of went for the gravity cancel silent on sword to get that falling momentum. It's a great option. You hit one opponent, but you're without your dodge, and that D-Light recovery was allowing them to take them off the top, and now we're going to game number two with that re- uh, that run back to Mammoth Fortress here as both weapons go over to the blue team for the very start. Yeah, and you know what? Here's the thing. I'm not really surprised that there's no legend swap, there's no map swap, because that game was so close. It really could have gone either way. It does Oh, wait a minute, <gasps> Wes! Oh, he so touches. much damage! Oh, it's crazy! They have no fear of going for the craziest stuff offstage. There's a bubble where all four team, for all four players, we're just fighting on the right side of Mammoth Fortress. Now back to the Woo! center of the stage. Slide charge pivots the neutral sig to hit, uh, hit him up towards the top of the stage. Kind of, ooh, getting hit by that down light into recovery. 
Let's see if Kaya can make it back to the stage. Oh, that damage. Oh. That's a lot of damage to be putting onto your teammate. One of the highest damaging signatures in the game. Falling Cider hits Kaya, still living. Will Alex go for the save? No, no need. Kaya makes it back, and it's still a really close game of two. Oh man, Wes actually putting that movement speed to great use. They, oh no, legit down, Wes down, kinda somehow the last one on the field, giving mm -hmm. the red team yeah. a hair's breadth of advantage. It was, it's pretty surprising that you mentioned that because kind of was getting knocked around left, right, up and down, but still holding on to this first stock. Let's see how long they can do it. Legit going to help Wes get back to the stage. Falling down from kind of doesn't hit, but the recovery does double Whoa. recovery. That's a ton of damage. Anything that kind of gets here is amazing extra credit, but he goes down and now. Alex in the awkward position where he might be down an entire stock compared to his teammate if he's not careful. Man, you see LX just trying to jump out of the sandwich blue team was setting up kind of there just to relieve the pressure and get a ton of damage onto Wes. Ooh, Alex coming back, kind of on the other side of the stage. I like blue team's position here, holding on to center, keeping both of the red team in a position where they're constantly recovering and getting small damage leads here and there. Alex, however, still hasn't gone down. Oh. That gravity cancel side stick did not connect. Alex, how are you surviving? Avoids the X recovery, but that stair from the other side of the stage will do it, but the trade for trade knockout. Downlight recovery, absolutely crucial. Yeah, I mean, you need to convert your knockouts as soon as they are available. You can't leave a teammate hanging around because that gives the possibility for even just the handoff combos, but those 2v1 combos where you can lose a stock just for leaving an opponent at red. Oh, wow, that was an unfortunate team combo accident there onto Kaina, but they're still holding on to that second stock. Went for the recovery, trying to catch Legit jumping, but Legit spaced well around it, and Wes is doing a great job fighting offstage with the spear. This could be it for Kaina's second stock. He's not careful, but Legit goes down while that scrap is happening, and now the edge guard with double oh. hammer. Oh, gets him out of the recovery. You saw those stars flying. Gravity cancel side stick ends Wes early, and Legit's in a 1v2 that's even tougher than the last 1v2 that we saw. So now they do have to cut through Roland's defense. Legit has a chance to make this happen, but it's three stocks to one, so definitely on the back foot. And both Alex and Kainer are holding on to their hammers, and they're very comfortable with that. He gets the recovery, but now he has to basically take this stock within 10 seconds, because after that, Kainer's going to have a weapon on the field, and look at that. Yep. It's looking rough for Legit. But he's Ooh. doing a great job. One side's a kit, and you're right. That rolling defense really coming into play. That side's didn't even come close to knocking him Oh, Kai, are you? Ooh. What was uh, that? Uh, Hit his okay. teammate with the downlight to get chase dodge over the corner for the ground pound. I think legit is still reeling from just actually what happened. I, I'm still reeling over what just happened. I cannot stress this up. I don't think I've ever seen that done. <laughs> in pro play, and it makes so much sense to me. Amazing down air finish <laughs> off the top, but it's like, I'm thinking about it, and I'm going, no, wait, yeah, actually, that's brilliant, especially on sword. Oh my gosh. So let, let, let's talk about it uh, for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, uh, so so down light on sword, not that much of a damaging move. It's definitely a combo starter, and it puts you into the air so that you're in a position where you don't even have to, like, jump or anything yep. to get a change, chase dodge. You can diagonal do whatever direction that you want from that position. And knowing that his teammate wasn't that damaged, he used him as an activator <laughs> for one of the best mobility item or b most best mobility yeah. moves in the game. Yeah, and I, I think it was just, you get a, mixed up a little bit there, right? Because you see, oh man, maybe they hit their teammate and now this, they're tied up in friendly fire. That's my opportunity to go up and react, you know, try and put forth my own pressure. But no, you're going right face first into a ground pound. That is coming way sooner than you expect. Because, yeah, that's the thing. Sword down light, it's so much faster on hit than on miss. Like, the total duration of it. So you get to chase dodge out of it right, so quick. Right, right. And, and that's an excellent point that I didn't even think about, where a lot of the moves in Brawlhalla are designed to be very punishing to the player if they're just throwing them out, right? The, yeah. the idea is that you get so much more active, like, uh, ability to act on a successful neutral victory. But if you can fake a neutral victory on your teammate and get those frames as a reward, <laughs> that crazy. is big, though, that's big brain plays right there. Like, that was brilliant. And it was clearly a setup, and it caught him yeah. off guard by a million. I mean, it caught me off guard by a million. I mean, my goodness. I wasn't ready for it. I, I'm excited to see them continue to play, and that's that's some of the cool uh, developments that we've got from these new team mashups and mix-ups here in, in, in the South American region, right? Is being able to see ideas like that come to fruition. Very oh. exciting. All right, looks like they just gave a little bit of a check. The capes are out. Everyone's armed and ready to go. 
All right, so we're going to game three of Mammoth Fortress, and no, this isn't match point. It's one to one. Both games ended up being in a position where somebody on the opposing team had to fight a grueling but possible 1v2. And now we have Legit over on the Hattori. Wes on the Macho Man, something that I am very familiar with seeing him on, going up against this double Bodvar squad. Is that alley-oop into the mm. sidelight? Neutral Sig is more than enough to take Kine off the top for the first stock of the game. Yeah, so this is interesting. Oh man, trading legit down. Now it's five stocks to five for both teams. But yeah, you mentioned Wesley swapping now over to the Macho Man and legit over onto the Hattori. So that, that Roland Brin comp that we were seeing before, completely out the window. It got them one game win in the set, but you know, now it's up to, I guess, old tricks. Yes, yeah, certainly. I like the experimentation, but now that we're seeing uh, seeing some of those legends that we're more familiar with, we'll see how that's going to be able to play out in this game. And so far, I've been loving Woo! the conversions that Wes has had uh, with the Lance off of everything that Legit started. I mean, look at that. Delight Sider, and he was right underneath Legit to be able to follow up with a downer and a Sider of his very own. Positioning with that grabbing Jeez. cancel silent recovery. So much damage coming out, and Wes is just unstoppable. Oh my god, he's, he's taking out kind just hitting everyone. Yeah, he even hit legit there. Like, I wanted to be like, that was a great neutral win, but he actually hit his teammate. But then he went for Kaina, and then he went for Alex, and now it's four stocks to three. Alex very close to being on his last stock, and West just now Ooh. on his second stock here. Is that... Ooh, that's Cider Kid. What? Oh, what? Legit? legit? You are that's insane! I, I love Alex trying to go for some kind of save, but... Th there was no way to save. Kaina was already done. Legit just there swarming. No way to get back. That was an absolutely beautiful stock. And now we're in an awkward 3v or 2v1 scenario. Three stocks to two. And uh, this is... It, it is oddly possible for oh. LX. Uh, oh. But I absolutely oh, trust Wes and Legit, who, by the way... Are, are are the predictions from, from the pre-show, right, with Duke and Sparky to yeah. take the entire thing, uh, to operate in a 1v2 in a way where this is just going to look almost impossible? Yeah, I mean, this is one of the strongest positions we've seen all set. Oh, the combos? The damage? Let's go! Oh, Wes wasn't in the right position to get the neutral sig there, but I saw him try to go for it. He was repositioned to get the gravity cancel neutral sig to get the spike to finish. Alex already took a ton of damage from that, and they're setting up for the combos once again, trying to get that highlight reel going. I mean, the first one was good, but let's see if they can get the stock off of this one. As Alex is, well, I mean, if you're, if you're a seasoned doubles player, you know this position, right? You've got one yeah. opponent positioning Ooh. on the ledge. <gasps> okay! okay. West goes down, Alex tries to smash legit into the ground, picks up the sword, it's not, weapon denied, West fighting back unarmed, but this is a weird situation where Alex has a chance, and legit went for a similar uh, strategy that we just saw in the previous game with that downlight. Doesn't get the chase dodge afterwards though, it just ground pounds straight into the ground. Yeah, you see LX, he doesn't spend a lot of time center stage between them. He'll keep himself more towards the edges, that way they have, oh my gosh, West That'll with the it. big ground pound. Yeah, amazing <laughs> ground pound uh, from West there to be able to close out that game, which looked like it could have gone a lot longer. Now the score is two to one. The legend swaps for West and Legit working out very, very well. Oh, Incredibly yeah. convincing victory, especially when it came to focusing down Kaina and getting them out of the picture as soon as possible. Uh, you could have five stocks in that situation. And unless you're Sandstorm fighting against me and Foda on a dev stream, right? I don't think it's going to be very likely that you're going to pull out that 1v2. So going into game number four, scoreline is two to one. Wes and Legit are up. One more match, and they're on the winner side of top eight. But Alex and Kaina show, have shown that they have the, uh, the capabilities to take out uh, the favorites for this tournament. Yeah, you know what? I, I do have to give a lot of credit that last game to Legit's crazy early offstage edge guard, just because they were able to steamroll that into the three stock to one advantage at the end. So I, I think LX and Kaina, they've really just got to think about, okay, how much risk are we willing to take offstage? Yeah, that is absolutely the question, uh, because 
no matter how, as you get to a certain point, uh, off stage exchanges can oftentimes become really risky just because it's like, um, like center stage, Ooh. where if you lose a neutral interaction, you're likely just to take a good amount of damage, but not completely lose your stock. Off stage, it doesn't matter how much damage you've taken. Those neutral wins or losses can result in your opponent's stock or your very own. First stock, once again, goes over the blue team as kind of seems to be the one that they are focusing down as the set progresses. Yeah, I mean, was first to fall just because of that early switch around last game. Because we've seen it a couple times already, where kind of pushes that stock so deep into the red, survives so much longer than anybody expects. So mm -hmm. obviously you want to get that kind of player out of Ooh. the equation. West going for another one of those crazy ground Ooh. pounds. But Alex this time saving kind of from potentially a very early death and the stop into neutral air, taking West off the top. A little bit earlier than last game, West proved to be a very effective stock tank in game number three, and he is showing that he still has the ability to do that in game four. Ooh, wow, kind of nice grab to cancel stop. Catching West in the middle of the air, that's that's how he seems to be approaching uh, West's Lance gameplay. Almost like an anti-air weapon himself. And now West off the right side of the stage, Alex and Kaino, are they setting up for an edge guard? Grab cancel down lane, misses. Oh, some friendly Ooh. fire, but he does get the punish. Kaino looking for those side airs onto West as he comes down, and West fighting oh back with the gosh. side sink, disarms him. Yeah, just called out that inwards dodge so hard for so much damage and the disarm. West still doesn't have a weapon, and now he's oh, in edge guard no territory on the side and out. Oh, he dodged to dodge the weapon, but didn't touch the stage. Drifted down, no jumps left, no recovery to his name, and the red team takes a four to two stock lead in game number four. Yeah, very tentative. They are deep in the red, but Look at how they're just kind of moving around. They've been tagging without getting hit at all. Now there's one stock down. Is that going to be two Ooh. to follow LX? Oh, that's it. get past the second weapon toss. And that, and that weapon, uh, those weapon throws were all from one player. Wes was just spending the other time on the stage, making sure that he can deny uh, LX or Kaina from that weapon. I mean, so hey, got Kaina. Oh. The, the weapons, they only fall on stage. If your team has stage control, you've got a plethora to choose from. Mm-hmm. And why not throw them off the stage if you're comfortable with them? Stop Sider, however, takes down legit. And now West is a 1v2. We've been seeing so many of these situations so far. Can Alex and Kaina close off this game? West is terrifying in this situation because if Kaina slips up once off stage, mm. that is a Lance ground pound that almost will definitely take that stock. And oh, I oh. thought that, that was going to be it, but he <laughs> misses too. the downer punish. Stop Sider. Is this going to be it for West's stock? Are they going to bring it to a game five? Wait Look at that corner slip. edge guard. They're really just setting up the stacks so that way. Even when West came back up on stage, oh, stop side air, done. Bear to celebrate. I said it in game one, and I'll say it in game four. I'm so excited about this set because of the level of adaptability that yes. I'm seeing between these both teams and players. Kaina made an amazing adjustment going in game four against Wes's uh, Macho Man because of the way that they were playing Hammer against Lance, using anti-air options like gravity cancel stop into falling there to, to yes. hit him for going for siders in the air. And then some really great sword adjustments as well, playing around the platform as it was moving, having Alex be on the bottom of the platform, kind of taking the top and just punishing the strategy adjustment that Wes and Legit created for them. And now we're seeing the final adjustment for the blue oh. team going to game number five. Bodvar being picked up from Legit. Five, or not five, three Bodvars on the screen uh, yeah. for game number five. Also worth mentioning, Legit opted for the strength stance in this case. I think because okay. he's really looking to score earlier knockouts, right? Because the sword will be shared between Hattori, but Hattori kind of low strength. And right. seeing Legit opt into even the strength stance just says to me he wants to hit hard. Yeah, uh, and I, I agree with that sentiment. Hattori, I think, a very combo-based character in twos, especially uh, very good at mo mobility as well, but in a situation where you just want to make your hits count as much as possible and you're only getting one or two of them in neutral at a time, go for that strength stance and go with the character you're comfortable with. And now we've got Ooh. Legit getting that Dallas Sider onto Alex, taking just it off the left side, and that's already a great, uh, a great adjustment from game number four of that character already paying dividends. Now, go for the Grave of Cancer, which didn't hit. But can't kind of be edge guarded. Oh no, kind of. Oh. While recovering, LX is being comboed. That's so much damage going on to LX's second stock. And Kaina's not helping. That downline recovery was rough. Oh man, they managed to split the red team wide. LX in danger. West goes for the really hard read. Was expecting legit to spike LX down there, but no purchase. 
right, we are continuing in. Legit and Wes still. Uh, they're still not gone. Whoa. How is are he not you gone? serious? That was legit flying up to the top right, and now Alex is down. I Actually, mean, at this, how? I mean, at the, oh, what? He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. Kinda makes it back. All the oh stuff recovery God. allows Wes to live somehow, and now he's fighting off stage for as much as you can. He gets it there. He's gonna get the grab and now he gets it there. What? <laughs> I can't. Yeah, not. yeah, just hold that! Who's got two thumbs and ridiculous offstage? Wes, this guy right here. That oh, was an eight-piece unarmed offstage combo zero to death and that deep of the damage and Wes, he might go this entire game five without losing the stock if they're able to get the team combo of their I dreams as Kaida is looking at one stocks to five. Legit and Wes <laughs> just pulled out a miracle this game. Just show what they're capable of by not dying the entire game and Wes is like, I ain't going up there. He's waiting, he's waiting for his friend to get like, yeah, oh, the yeah, side yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even that. Even that oh would knock him God. out. Just the light tap. I mean, at, at this point, Kaida's just like, I might Why? Oh, Triple okay, down light? All right, Wes is just feeling himself right now. Oh, they're playing born. with their food. I, I hope mean, this doesn't come back to bite him. Kaida taking a huge chomp out of legit. I feel like Kaida's kind of joining it on the play oh there. There's kind gosh. of like, I might be the food, but I might as well have oh some fun before gosh. I am destroyed. That was uh, such a, a dominant game for Wes and Legit, especially given how close the set was. Yes. Oh my, I, I still, that offstage unarmed, unreal. Yeah, uh, I mean, the, the amount of, uh, I mean, it, it can't, it started off of a unarmed neutral air 